I'm Henry Woodhouse. I'm part of the shore crew for Great Britain's Sail GP team. Started sailing at an early age on classic working boats down in Falmouth. All to do with my dad. Used to join him on racing weekends. After that, then went on to Oppies and actually sailed in the same club as Ben Ainsley. And I was an optimist and he was actually going into labours in Restrongo Sailing Club down in Cornwall. I got involved in the military at an early age. I was 18 when I first joined. Following my dad's footsteps, he died when I was young and he was in the military. Something that I wanted to do and at 18, I, I went for it. Basically made me, I'd say. Made me who the man I am today. Taught me discipline, taught me respectfulness. Commando spirit is one thing that shines through. My role within the team, I'm uh, the safety swimmer and also I'm the team mechanic. So as a safety swimmer, basically I'm in charge of the safety parts of the boat for the sailors themselves and on the platform itself, whether it be the knife, whether it be the spare air. Also, if there's any capsizing that happens, I'll be the one deployed onto the boat to attach the lines, make sure primarily that the sailors are okay and no injuries. Once we have a head count and they're good, then it's into getting the boat safe. As a mechanic, I basically am in charge of the hydrofoil systems and bearings, you know, because obviously the hydrofoils, when they go up and down, there's lots of parts that are moving, they need to be serviced and maintained, the rudders, the steering systems. In the day-to-day -day role, STEM is quite a massive part in, in these boats with the science, how they work. You know, there's no other boats that work like this with the programming, the computer software, the interfaces, all then combines with the human part of it. Maths, you know, you've got to make sure you have the right amount of bearings in the right amount of places. And engineering, again, you know, that's, that's a big part of my role to making sure everything's working correctly. I think I could sum up my career pathway by saying that, you know, some people say that you need luck to get to the place that you need to get, but I think that's rubbish. I think that luck is when you get preparation that meets opportunity. You make your own luck. If you work hard at things and you really have a goal in your mind, don't let people talk you down. No matter what you can do, you can achieve. Stay focused on your goal and keep working hard at it.